This section heading is called setting up a collection server. So now inside of our stolen form, we basically said that the process agent was going to be at this location and then we had an action script at that location. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the process agent to be a web server and then inside the web services directory, the action script. All right. So to do this, we're going to minimize the browser. We're going to go to the terminal and then inside the terminal, we're going to start up Apache. So Apache is installed on Kali Linux by default, but we simply just have to start the service. So we're going to type start. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to essentially kickstart PHP. And I call it kickstarting it because it's installed, but what I found was when I tried to collect username passwords that have been submitted within the form, it didn't work until I did this step. So I'm going to call it kickstarting PHP. And what we're doing here to kickstart it is we're simply just echoing something with PHP within the terminal. So we're going to echo the word test and then we're going to say do a new line or a carriage return after the word test so we don't get that annoying test behind the prompt. So it's kind of kicking it down to the next, the next line. So we're going to do this, that, tick, boom. Okay, perfect. So we kickstarted it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to essentially move that file that we were referring to. And I'm going to pull this down for a second. So remember, this is our action script. And we said this is going to be in the web services directory. So we're going to move that in. So we're going to do a copy. And it's tilde desktop. And that's inside the exploits directory inside of lab four. And it's called index.php. Now the default web services directory on this installation is going to be var www html. So now we move that in or we copied that in and now we're going to create a log file. Now outlined in that action script is basically saying look when somebody submits the form what we're going to do is we're going to write a copy not really write a copy but we're going to write the username password to a file and that file is going to be called log. So we're going to create the file using echo. And basically we're just echoing some, a string in there. So we're going to uh, echo harvested credentials. And that's going to go into, sorry, into var www.html and the file is going to be called log. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to need to ensure that essentially we can do whatever we want with this file because we don't want any permissions to kind of prevent anything. So we're just going to do a chmod 777, which means do whatever you want. Bar www.html log. All right. So now that that's done, we're going to test out the whole process. So I'm going to minimize, minimize, come over to the browser. We can close this. Here's the page. Remember, this is the injected page. So we're going to test it out to see that we can collect username passwords that are submitted within the form. And I'm going to click login. Now we get this message over here that's outlined in that script to inform people that there's a problem with the site. So when they log in, they don't get the page that they expect. They get this and now we're going to minimize, come back over here and we're going to print the contents of that file to the screen. So we're going to do a cat and that's var www.html log. All right, we're good.